Hey guys, how's it going? Now, despite everything that Android has done in the couple of recent years to make itself so good, one of the biggest issues that still exist on Android is the fact that it just fails to update their apps. And it's just a random issue and to be caused by multiple various different factors. So what are those factors and how do you fix them? That's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll be talking about 10 super easy fixes in which you can just resolve this issue. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first things first, let's get the basics sorted. You might be blaming Android or the Google Play Store for not updating the apps, but the problem could just be with your internet connection. Maybe you don't have enough signal bars on your mobile data, or maybe your Wi-Fi is just not working, it's not in a range, or maybe the network is down from your ISP. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that you need to first ensure that your network is working fine. In fact, you can even use speedtest or fast.com to check your current internet speeds and ensure that at least there is no issue on the network front. The next thing that you need to ensure is that you have enough free storage space. Basically, even when you're trying to download an update to an already installed app, you still need to download some data and that requires some free space on your Android device. If your Android device is running out of storage, well, good luck trying to update your apps. Now, of course, you can go around and manually delete each and every file, but a better way to do that is to use Google's Files app. Most devices just come with files uh, pre-installed on your devices, or you can even head over to the Google Play Store and download it on your device. Launch the app and then go to the Clean tab. Now the app will find junk files on your phone and offer a suggestion to remove them with a single tab. Once you clear the storage on your phone, it's time to go back to the Play Store and try and update apps. Speaking of updating apps, did you know that Android actually offers a way to auto-update apps in the background so you don't have to manually go around updating your apps? To do that, open the Google Play Store on your Android device and then tap on the profile menu at the top. Go to settings and then open the network preferences tab. Now select auto update apps. Tap on over Wi-Fi only or over any network if you're comfortable auto updating apps on a mobile network. Hit done and close the Play Store. After you do this, the Google Play Store app will handle the app updates in the background itself. All right, so those were the basics done. Now let's talk about some more issues that might be causing some issues with your Play Store. First things first, check the date and time on your device. It's not just the Play Store, but in fact, there are plenty of apps out there that just fail to work if the date and time settings on your device are, well, not set properly. To fix that, open your Android settings and go to system and then select date and time. Now enable the toggles next to use network provided time and use network provided time zone. Now wait for a couple of seconds while Android refreshes or updates its date and time settings. Once done, go back to the Play Store and try updating apps again. Okay, now it could be that the Google Play Store itself is faulty. Now one of the best ways to fix those issues is to just force stop it and then relaunch it. To do that, long press on the Play Store icon and open the app info menu. Then tap on force stop and then confirm your decision. Once done, wait for a couple of seconds and then relaunch the Google Play Store. Hopefully your issues should be fixed by now. Hopefully was a keyword because there is still a chance that your issues might not have been resolved by now. Well, you did try for stopping it, but the next thing that you can do is to just clear the Play Store cache as well. So cache is basically all the temporary files and all the random corrupted data and unused files that Play Store has downloaded over the couple of weeks or months or even years that you've used the device. And it's probably time to just remove all of that and start from scratch. To clear Play Store's cache, once again, go to the app settings. Now, go to storage and cache menu. Tap on the clear cache option from the following menu. Close the app and once again, open Google Play Store. And hopefully you will be able to update apps without any issues. Speaking of updates, Google itself releases constant updates to the Play Store app in itself. Now, these the new updates contain new security patches, new design rehauls and more features. But sometimes they also contain a lot of bugs. And that could be the primary reason why you're not able to update any other apps on your device. So the best way to fix all of that is to just uninstall all of the updates installed to your Google Play Store, revert it back to the factory settings and hopefully everything should work fine. To do that, long press on the Play Store app icon and launch the app info menu and select uninstall updates option. This will restore the Google Play Store to the factory version that it came with and hopefully things should be working fine now. Okay, now, did you guys know that Android offers an inbuilt data saver mode? Chances are that you might have just enabled it and forgotten about it. And that data saver mode being enabled might be causing your Play Store to not being able to update apps. To fix that, open the settings app and then go to the network and internet menu. Here, tap on data saver and disable the toggle from the following menu. 
Speaking of data, sure, you disable the data save on your Android device, but does the Google Play Store have unrestricted data access? Well, that is another privilege that you need to ensure that Google Play Store has. To enable that, long press on the Google Play Store icon on your Android device and then tap on App Info. Head over to the Mobile Data and Wi-Fi menu. Now, enable the unrestricted data usage toggle. Okay, now if all of those methods did not do the trick for you, maybe there's an issue with your Google account itself. Now, I'm not saying that your Google account is at fault, but all I'm trying to say is that maybe Google or your Play Store is not able to communicate well with Google servers based on your account settings. The best way to fix that is to just remove and then add your Google account back once again. And super simple to do, just open the Android settings and go to the accounts menu. Now select your Google account and tap on remove account. Go back to the accounts menu and then tap on add account and add your Google account once again. Once I've successfully added the Google account again, just go to Play Store and update the apps to the latest versions. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.